Many people don't serve God again. Many don't worship God again. Many don't even believe in Christ. They don't believe in God again. A lot have resorted to blasphemy against God because of their previous negative encounters, yes, in some churches and with some supposed men of God. Yes, and I want us to discuss this issue today. But before we continue, let me quickly ask you three questions. Is Christianity real or fake to you? Is God existing and genuine to you? Is the body of Christ a scam? Yes. Do you know why I'm asking you this? It is very important at this particular time because a lot, a lot are missing this because of their problem. Before we continue, please, if this video caught, kindly know that you are watching the real or maybe the short in YouTube or the real in Facebook. Kindly go to my page in Facebook to watch the full video or you go to my channel in YouTube to watch the full video. Thank you. Let us continue. We've been able to narrow this problem and discover the three major causes of this issue because God is genuine. So what is causing the problem that people, many people are complaining of how they have been swindled, how they have been scammed, how they have had negative encounters, which supposed not to be like that. But the number one cause of it, the major problem is that Satan himself know he discovered that he has been he, he has been discovered. And what he did was to step up his game against Christianity. He now brought his kingdom, his empire, and embedded it into some supposed church. Those churches that he has been able to lure to himself using money. And they said that by their fruit you shall know them. If you go to some of these churches, even the kind of preaching, the word they share, the kind of clothes they use, the way they dance, the way they behave, everything, so that spirit of God is not there. Let us quickly go to the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 11. 2 Corinthians chapter 11. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse, verse 14. Then you will see what I'm saying. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 14. I will read. He said, he said, for such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into apostles of Christ. And no wonder, for Satan himself transformed himself into an angel of light. Are you not saying it? Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also transform themselves into ministers of righteousness, whose end will be according to their work. So when you go to these places, you will think that you are actually in a place where they worship God. You will not know that you are not in a place where they worship God. Number two, you say that native doctors, native doctors have left the forest where they used to stay. They has also been discovered. Yes, what they did is start to hide under the name pastors. They, they, they are not impersonating pastors. They've now transformed their shrines into one denominational name or the other. Yes, when you go there, they will keep their juju or whatever into one room. And they will be dishing out, impacting people with whatever demonic and whatever thing. And when this when this People are discovered. People will say, eh, pastors. No. Let me quickly take you again to the book of Matthew chapter 7 verse 15. Matthew chapter 7 verse 15 said, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are wolves. These are not one of us. They are not part of us. Number three. If you notice, you see that. There are some pastors who actually, they are not satanic agents. They are truly pastors. They went to pastoral school, but they are worshiping God. But they are not into this ministerial work as because they are called to do it. No. Some of them are into this work because of the money. They are into this ministerial work for the money. They see it as business. They run it as career. So their focus and their sole aim is to extract money from you. And this is not how it's supposed to be. I want to shock you. 
Don't doubt me if I tell you that you are also part of it. Because you have a blame in this. If you want to buy clothes now, you don't just go to market to buy clothes or buy phone or buy car. You first of all check the one that will suit you. Discover the one that you want before you buy. Same also, if you want to worship God, you need to kneel down, tell God that you want to seek Him. There is a prophet for every one of us. You may you may not understand it, but I will tell you. Quote me anywhere. There is a prayer that you may be praying in dunamis. It has not yet been answered. But if you go to mountain of fire, the same God will answer it. There is a prayer that you will be praying in mountain of fire. It is not yet answered. But if you go to Methodist church, the same God will answer it. Whether Orthodox, whether Pentecostal, one God. Because even in real life among humans, there is something that you may be seeking for from a senator and the senator is not able to do it for you. But if you go to somewhere, another person, an average person will do it for you. That is how it is. So, secondly, even if you are already in a place, if you go to the book of First Corinthians chapter 12 verse 10, it talks about the discerning spirit of God. Don't Though it talks about the Sunday Spirit of God as a gift, but also as a child of God, you have access to it. Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3, he said that if you call upon me, I will answer you and show you great and mighty things that you do not know. Yes, even where you are, you don't just join commissions. Even if you are already in a place and there is awakening, and you suspect anything. If you don't even need to suspect anything, because let us go to the book of let us go to the book of First John. The book of First John. First John chapter 4, verse 1. The book of First John, chapter 4, verse 1. It, it said, it said, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but Test the spirits whether they are of God because many false prophets have gone out into the world. Do not believe every spirit. That is what the word of God says. You cannot just tell me that, for instance, you want to see a landlord who stays uh, 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 on the third floor in his house and he has tenants in the ground floor, first floor and second floor. And along the line you were climbing the staircase to see the landlord. You want to get a million bucks from this landlord. And the tenants offended you because of the offense from the tenants you will not turn and go back without seeing the landlord. Same thing is the same thing you are doing. Saying you want to see God because of what one fake pastor or one fake church did that you will not now discover the true church of Christ and belong to the genuine body of Christ and worship our genuine God. No. Yes. You, have you not had problem eating food? Did you stop eating food because you had the problem? Yes. You will not say that you don't want to worship God at all before because that is what it is. I will have to stop here for now but please, I want to beg you please, if you are watching us from youtube kindly subscribe to our youtube channel and if you are seeing us on facebook please kindly follow our page and share this message you we, we are not seeking money from you we are not looking for money the only support we want from you is to subscribe to our youtube channel and follow us on facebook share this message so that our pages will grow so that we'll be able to get to other people. I think it is not, it may not mean anything to you, but to us it means a lot. And I believe it takes nothing from you to hit the subs subscription button and turn on your notification bell. It takes nothing. It don't even take your data. Any day we share message, you will see it. If you follow us on Facebook, it does not take anything out of you. Yes, but to us, it means a great deal to us. It is part of the support that we are seeking from you. Yes, we are not looking forward to get any cash from you. No, we don't need money from you. What we need is what we just told you. God bless you immeasurably as it touches you to support us as we have requested from you. God bless you. God bless you. It is a wonderful session having you around. Yes. And we are not taking it for granted that 
you are one of our audience today. Thank you. God bless you.